Jumpstarting Global Community Building. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 189. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 189, November 6, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the individuality lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of individuality is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the consciousness lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the personal growth lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team repaired the item description chart on our transition kitchen page and finished resizing the remaining 50% of the images on it. You can see that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued with layers of revisions for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. This week's focus was this new Straw Bale Village Pod 2 layout focused on the many social spaces within this village. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his fourth week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development. This week's focus was updating the work breakdown structure for the complete project, interviewing two people for his team, and creating the structure you see here for what will be his bi-weekly team project status report. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 42 of his work, continuing to evolve the external details and providing this final render of the city center view looking northwest, some more texture adjustments, and then these test renders leading up to this final render of the back view looking southwest. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 15th week helping evolve the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4. This week's focus was integrating last week's updates so all living space layouts matched each other and updating the east half of the building to allow for a three foot width increase for the south roadway entry. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued with 3D Earthblock outdoor furniture construction for the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4. What you see here is his 10th week of this work that focused on creating and testing different textures to fill in the empty spaces on the top of the compressed earth bricks. Aparna Tandon, architect, 
additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements what you see here is her fifth week of work focusing on continuing to develop the landscape and layout details for the east play area in one of the central recreation spaces on the north yi cheng ho interior designer also finished her seventh week of helping with the shipping container village renders for the living units these final renders show how we'll open source how to convert the unit design from the complete village into two two-bedroom designs for do-it-yourself home construction by individuals and families. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book. What you see here is week 11 of this work that continued updating all the page colors to match the new color palette and creation of the color palette page itself. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplical City Center. This included rendering this image for the central pool area, South View, where we explored shadow options, updated the texture of the door to the mechanical room, updated the water texture in the pool and spa and waterfall, adjusted the shadows, and added lights in the pool and spa. Ira Sue, industrial designer, also continued her work on the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. This week's focus was finalizing the assembly instructions for the table, chair, couch, and large table, all of which we added to the website. What you see here are the results of a full year of volunteering with us. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the City Center column placement and calculations. This week's work focused on another round of review and revisions for column placement and further detailing the floor construction details. Jin Shi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us to create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her ninth week of behind-the-scenes research into this area. This week's focus was continuing with model calculations and research and beginning the process of writing the tutorial for this component. You can see some pictures of this work here. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, also joined the team and began working on the solar sizing plan and joined Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant to continue the process of designing the control and automation systems. What you see here are notes from our first two weeks of work on both of these tasks. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Ashwin Patil, web developer, completed his fifth week of helping with the new site design details. This week's focus was adding the rest of the highest good food links and icons and beginning to work on the highest good economics links and icons. Vasily Bizarov, writer, poet, and translator, also finished translating our solution models to create additional solution creating models page into Russian. Luke Williamson, graphic designer, also joined the team to help create new video intros to each section of our project. His focus for the first three weeks has been music research and creating this test video. One community's goal is jumpstarting global community building. And the way that we are doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. What that means is that we are taking specifically the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and we are combining those with the foundations of what we've identified as emotional sustainability, and those are highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. We're putting these things together as an open source suite of tools, tutorials, and resources designed specifically to help build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that will teach others how to build self-sustainable, self-sufficient, and thus self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. Our idea is that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then this way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, 
because it includes those physical foundations and combines them with those emotional foundations to better meet the needs that people have in their lives right now. If we can open source that and we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then we see the idea spreading across the world and these solution models, specifically purposed to create additional solution creating models, can positively and permanently transform the lives and impact the lives of every single person on this planet. We have the ability to create a sustainable civilization. And we think we can do it within our lifetime. But the only way we see ourselves being able to do that is through a self-replicating model that is open source and free shared so that people can do it differently, people can do it better, people can evolve and build off of what it is that we're creating. And so we're here to create the first version, open source and free share that, and then inspire people to create as many additional iterations of that as they want. And we're doing this as a 100% volunteer nonprofit organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, but we have brought together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all. People that believe that this is possible, and not only believe that it's possible, but believe that now is the time. That we are the people that we have been waiting for to create the future that we know is possible. We're bringing together those people, we're volunteering their time, we're creating all the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources that you see us reporting on every single week that cover the food, the energy, the housing, the education the highest good economics, the fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship, we're putting all that together as a complete model. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to be involved, if you'd like to get uh, involved in our project and be a part of what it is that we're creating, we invite you to join us. We've got lots of different ways to do this, ranging from joining the core team that will move to the property and build everything that one community is designing, to just helping us share our information on social media. That is the easiest way that you can help, and it is actually an immense help. It makes a really big difference. For us to create global change that will positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody on this planet, people have to know what it is that we're doing. And so our movement is growing. We are adding people every single week to the team. But we need more people to know what it is that we're doing. We need the word to get out there so that people that want to join our team can, so that people that want to use our information can, so that we can jumpstart this global community building process as quickly and efficiently as possible. We're jumpstarting global community building right now with what it is that we're doing because of the people that are already using our information and starting to develop their own projects or taking this in different directions or consulting with us or asking us questions, using the content the way that works best. The more you help us share, the faster this happens. Of course, people ask, well, what is the biggest thing that would help one community right now? We are still seeking large-scale funding. We're an all-volunteer, unpaid, nonprofit organization. So none of the donations that we get go to anybody's salary. Nobody's paid for what it is that we're doing. But we're still seeking that large-scale funding to be able to purchase the property, to get that property off the market, to get it underneath the umbrella of our nonprofit organization so that we can start doing all the work that needs to be done on the ground. So we can take our whole open source process to the next level so that we can disclose that location and build our team that much faster because that is the number one question that we get from people, but we can't disclose the location until we own that property because we're not guaranteed that we will be in that location until we own the property. So if you or somebody you know has the resources and would like to help us with that, we would love to speak with you. In the meantime, we're going to continue jumpstarting global community building the way that we're doing right now, and that is our primary focus. Because everything that we're doing with this jumpstarting process is the foundations that we need to be shovel ready so that we have people on the ground and we can start building as quickly and efficiently as possible. Building all the web infrastructure and all the other details so that we can open source the whole project as it continues to evolve, as it moves to that next level, that much faster, that much more efficiently and effectively to help even more people to replicate what it is that we're doing. This is how we are jumpstarting global community building and anybody can participate, either actively with our organization or by taking the information that we've created and doing it in their own way. This is our idea of world change. This is our idea of global transformation. And this is how we're bringing together people with consciousness for the highest good of all. So if you too possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, get involved with what it is that we're doing whatever way works best for you. In the meantime, we'll continue to move forward. I'd like to say each time at the end of this, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the small donations that we get. Those $5, $10 donations make a big difference in the expenses that we are covering to run a huge organization, a global organization like ours. Even though we're all volunteers, there's still lots of expenses associated with everything that we're doing. So thank you for those. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the shares. If you'd like more details, specifics, or links to all the open source content that we talk about each week, you can visit our website and our written blog, which has a summary of everything that we're talking about here. Also, uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, 
You can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Other than that, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.